You do solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that the testimony you should give in this matter now before the court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and this under the pains and penalties of perjury. Please be seated. State your name for the record. Please spell your last name. Michael Joseph Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Mr. Jackson, would you tell us the nature of your occupation? Performer, songwriter. And can you tell us when you started composing music? Probably since the age of seven. And can you tell us how old you are when you had your first uh, song published? That I wrote myself? Yes, sir. Fifteen. And can you tell us approximately, Mr. Jackson, how many songs you've written to date? In general, a couple of hundred. <laughs> and approximately how many of those songs have been released to the public? About um, 50, 50, 60. How many songs, Mr. Jackson, were in the Bad album? I think nine. And how many songs did you write for the Bad album that were not published? Objection, Your Honor, relevant. Overruled. I wrote. Probably 60, 70 songs for the Bad Album that weren't published. And how many songs are in the Dangerous Album? On the album itself? Yes, sir. I think 17. And how many songs did you write for the Dangerous Album but that were not released to the public? I think 70 songs. What happens to songs that you compose, complete, but are not released to the public? Well, I put them away in a vault. And how many songs are usually working on at any one time? One, uh, more than one? Oh, gee, about five. About five songs. Are any of the unreleased songs that you've completed ever used again for any purpose? <laughs> Pardon? Are any of the songs that are unreleased, the, the songs that you compose but are not released, are they ever used again for any purpose? Sometimes. I'll kind of resurrect them and... I have an idea what I want to use it for. Did your song Dangerous evolve out of any previous song that you had composed? Yes, I, I wrote a song for the Bad Album called Streetwalker, and it had a driving bass melody, a strong driving bass lick. <coughs> Sorry. And um, that bass lick was taken by my engineer. Because I was kind of frustrated with the song in general, so he took the bass and put new chords to the bass melody, which is what inspired the song Dangers. You said a bass lick, and would you tell those of us who don't know what a lick is, what that term means in your field? Well, a bass lick is it's a melody of what the bass guitar or the bass moog, which is an instrument called a moog or synthesizer, performs. And it could be the melody of the song. And that's what it is. Okay. Could you describe for us, Mr. Jackson, the process and sequence of events which you use in composing songs generally, and then we'll get to dangerous specifically? And is there a kind of process you go through? Well, usually when I write songs, I, I get a... Um, I, I vocally, I orally use a uh, melody into a tape recorder. And for instance, with the song Streetwalker, which has a driving bass like that I just spoke about, which um, I'll have a tape recorder and I'll just sing the bass part into the tape recorder. And for Streetwalker, the bass melody went. Uh, <coughs> take that bass lick and put the chords of the melody over the bass lick. And, um, 
And that's what inspires the melody or the other sounds that I'm hearing in my head. But that is the bass lick. And I used a Moog and a bass guitar to create that sound that I'm hearing in my head. Mr. Jackson, by the way, who was the engineer that took Streetwalker and stripped it down to the bass, bass lick or the bass uh, sound? Billy Patrell. What happens, you said you hear things in the song and the melody you hear in your head? Yeah. Um, you mean the melody, the vocal melody? Yeah. Yes. We'll get to Dangerous in a minute. Use some other song, if you would, as in any other song. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, when creating the song, uh, Billie Jean, I was riding in my car and it started with the bass lick again, which goes... <laughs> and on top of that, I hear the chord. <laughs> Then the melody, she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. I said, oh my, but what do you mean? I am the one. And the lyrics, the strings, the chords, everything comes at that moment, like a gift that is put right into your head. And that's how I hear it. You just start seeing the lyrics? Or? Absolutely. When I said Billie Jean is not my lover, I didn't think about it. It just came. It all dropped in my lap at once. And I loved it, so I ran, uh, I drove fast home, and I got on the microphone and put things down. Then I went into the studio, got the magicians over, and gave them all their parts. And that's how, I mean, that's how uh, that was created. Same thing with, you know, other songs that I create. By the way, do you read music? No, I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Who wrote the uh, lyrics to the, your song, Dangerous? I wrote the lyrics to Dangerous. Did anyone, anyone in the world assist you in writing the lyrics to Dangerous? No. Mr. Jackson, who wrote the vocal melody to Dangerous, your I, song, Dangerous? I did. Did anyone in the entire world, including Mr. Riley, Mr. Bottrell, anyone, assist you in writing the vocal melody? No one at all. Who named the song Dangerous? Who gave it the title? I did. <laughs> did anyone assist you in, in giving the song the title? No one at all. Approximately how many hours, by the way, went into creating the song Dangerous from beginning to a final version? Including the song that used to be Street No, Walker. not including Just Street Walker. Let's say when my trailer okay. gives you the tape with uh, the bass lick. For that one, um, I would say maybe three weeks. Just listening to it every once in a while and letting the melody create itself out of hearing the chords and the bass lick, you know, and not dictating how it should be. Just letting it kind of form itself. Did you ever in your life hear a person named Crystal Cartier before this lawsuit was filed? No. Did you ever hear a song written by Miss Cartier called Dangerous before this lawsuit was filed? Never in my life. You're positive? I'm more than positive. It's the honest truth. Could you demonstrate for us, starting with the Bartrell cassette or tape, in which the bass is now stripped down. You've given us what that bass sounded like. And, and just go through the remainder of the process of creating the song Dangerous. Just take it step by step and just tell us what you're doing as you go along. Starting with the bass of Streetwalker? Yeah, no, yes. Okay, like I said before, I wrote the song Streetwalker and I wasn't completely satisfied with it. I was frustrated that you know it wasn't exactly what it should be. I have a lot of songs like that that are kind of unfinished. And um, so uh, I gave the song to Billy, and he um, fooled around with it, put some drum sounds.